Welcome to the DDW 2012 Abstract Submission Site Demo. First, you need to log in to the DDW Abstract Submission Site, http colon two forward slashes ddw2012.abstractcentral.com. If this is the first time you're using the submission site, you will need to create an account. Use the Create an Account option on the left toolbar. If you submitted an abstract over a co-author last year, you may already have an account. Use the Forgot Your Password option on the left toolbar if you need to have your password sent to you via email. Upon returning to the site, the system will prompt you to update your contact information and complete your financial disclosure. Submission Categories. Upon submission of your abstract, your co-authors will receive an email notification and instructions for completing their financial disclosure. The deadline for co-author disclosures is Thursday, December 15, 2011 at 3 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Once you're on the welcome page, you will see a link to the full list of DDW 2012 abstract submission categories. After you've confirmed the society and category that you would like to submit your abstract to, select the submission tab along the top toolbar. Then select the appropriate society submission role. Please note, a society may have multiple submission roles depending on their session and presentation types. Then click Go. You will see a list of the basic submission instructions and the DDW abstract submission policy. Select Create a new submission from the left toolbar to start your submission. Enter the abstract title and body in the appropriate boxes. You may copy and paste from Word. There is a limit of 255 characters for the title of your abstract submission. There's also a limit of 2,900 characters for the text of your abstract body, including spaces. Author names, affiliations, tables, and graphics do not count towards either of these character limits. There's also a function within the site that allows you to enter special characters. Click Save and Continue. On the Presentation Type and Category state, you select your preferred presentation type. Select the appropriate category and subcategory for your abstract. A pop-up box will display to confirm the category and subcategory for your abstract. Other optional questions may be present, including depending on the society that you're submitting the abstract for consideration. Click Save and Continue. As a submitting author, your affiliation has been pre-populated. Use the middle section of the step to enter additional affiliations for you and or your co-authors. Enter the new affiliation and click the Add button in the center of the page. The new affiliation will appear at the bottom of the page. Click Save and Continue after you've entered all affiliations. As a submitting author, your name is pre-populated as a first author. You can add co-authors by selecting the Add Author button. To search for co-authors, enter the first and last name or the email address for the co-authors. If the person has a user account in the submission site, they will be listed in the search results. Select the Add icon next to the appropriate person to add them to your author string. If no user account is available for that person, click the link to create a new user account with the person's first name, last name, and email address. After adding your co-authors, mark the affiliation or affiliations and their status. Click Save and Continue. The table step will allow you to create a table to accompany your abstract. Enter the appropriate number of rows and columns for your table and click Create Table. Enter your table details. Use
you may include any combination of tables and image files with a maximum of two total for your abstract. Click Save and Continue. The Image Upload step allows you to search and upload image files to accompany your abstract. The accepted file types include GIF, JPEG, EMP, TIFF, and PDF. Browse for your file and click the upload icon to load your image file. Again, you may include any combination of tables and image files with a maximum of two total for your abstract. Click Save and Continue. Review the DDW abstract submission policies and mark the checkboxes affirming your agreement to each section. All items are required except for the relevant disclosure box. Click Save and Continue. You have the opportunity to review your abstract in full on the Proof and Submit step. You can return to any step to make updates to your abstract by clicking that section on the left toolbar. The system will also alert you if you are missing any required pieces. Once your abstract is complete, click the Submit button. You will be taken to the Payment step. Your abstract is not complete and fully submitted until after you complete the Payment step. Abstract Changes you may return your abstract to draft format any time prior to the December 1, 2011, 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time submission deadline to make changes to your abstract. Be sure to click the Submit button on the final step to resubmit your abstract with the changes. Abstracts not fully submitted or in draft format will not be reviewed for consideration of presentation. You will not be required to submit an additional submission fee if you make changes to your abstract using the Return to Draft and Resubmit option. No changes are permitted after the deadline. If you require any technical support, please contact email address ts.acsupport at thompson, t h o m s o n dot com. That's ts.acsupport at thompson dot com. Or dial 1 434 964 1050. For any program-related questions, please contact Lorna Lucas or Crystal Young at ddwprogram at gastro.org or phone 301-272-0022. Thank you.